Okay, so let's simplify some expressions with radicals. Uh, let's see, we have number one, a square root of 50 divided by a square root of 72. Um, you can separate them, you can write uh, 50 is 25 times 2, so you can get the 25 out, and so is the same thing with the 72, uh, is um, 2 times 36. So you can do that, or you can uh, put them under the same radical. So this is really the same as the square root of 50 divided by 72. So and that's equal to um, square root of 50 is 25 times 2 divided by 72, which is uh, 36 times 2. So the 2 here cancel out. And what's left is the square root of 25 over square root over 36, which comes out as uh, you can separate them. You can write it as square root of 25 over square root of 36, but you don't have to. You can uh, get get them out of the radical from here. So square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 36 is 6. So number one, the answer is 5 over 6. Okay. So uh, let's do the second problem here. We have the square root of 147x to the 12 divided by square root of 243x uh, to the 6. Again, um, let's put them under the same radical so this way we can uh, divide common factors as well as simplify uh, the x, the variable here. So that gives us, we have 147x to the 12 over 243x to the 6. And uh, let's see, what can we do with the numbers? If you notice, the numerator 147 is divisible by 3. So if you uh, divide 147 by 3, you notice that it's you get the answer of 49. So 147 is 3 times 49 x to the 12 divided by 243 is also divisible by 3 and 243 is 3 times 81 and here you have x to the 6 so now you can cancel the 3's here and then you can simplify what do you get well uh, you can again separate square root of uh, square root of 49. You can do that if you like, and square root of 81. If you want to do that, I can do this here. Square root of 49 divided by square root of um, 81. And then uh, what's left here is this, the x variable. Now you can use the quotient rule, the quotient rule for exponent. We get x to the 12 minus 6. So that gives you square root of 49 is 7. Square root of 81 is uh, 9. And here, what do you get? Square root of uh, x to the 12 minus 6 is 6. Now, this is, we're taking the square root. So uh, since the power of the variable is even, it comes out completely. Remember, x to the 6 is x cubed square. So x cubed square, so x cubed comes out. You can think about it as well as x 6, the power, the exponent of the variable divided by the index. Here we have no index, that's square root. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this is your answer, 7 over 9 x cubed. Okay, so now let's do number 3. Number 3, we're having here cube root. Cube root of 144 x to the 8, 18, divided by cube root of 18 uh, x to the 9. So again, if we go ahead and write them at, under the same radical. We have the same index, so we can do that. You get 144 x to the 18 divided by 18 x to the 9. 
Okay, so let's see if you divide 144 by 18, if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get 8. So 144 divided by 18 is 8. And we can simplify this using the quotient rule, same thing we did for number 2. You get x to the 18 minus 9 is 9. So now we're taking the cube root. You can separate it if you like. I can do that for you here. Cube root of 8 times cube root of x to the 9. And what's cube root of 8? Cube root of 8 is 2. Remember, 2 cube is 8, so cube root of 8 is 2. And this one comes out completely because, as you learn in class, the exponent of the variable is a multiple of the index. 9 is 3 times 3. So this is going to come out completely. You can think about it like this. You have here x, you divide the exponent by the index. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So that would be the exponent when it comes out of the radical. And here's your answer to x cubed. Okay. So let's do number four now. We have also cube root of 72 divided by cube root of uh, nine. Um, you can put them together under the same uh, radical. And as you can see, it will be easy to evaluate that way. 72 divided by nine uh, is eight. So this is a cube root of eight. So that means this is also equal to cube root of 8 is 2. Okay, so one more problem we have, we have here number 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, simplify this one. We have a uh, square root of 360x to the 14, y to the 22nd. Uh, divided by square root of 5, x to the 10, y to the 16. So if we write them under the same radical here, you get 60, x to the 14, y to the 22nd power, divided by 5, x to the 10, y to the 16. So here we have two variables in this example. Uh, let's see, if you divide 360 by 5, you should get 72. Seventy-two. And now, using the quotient rule for each variable here, x to the 14 divided by x to the 10th, that give you x to the 14 minus 10, which is 4. And we're going to be doing the same thing for y. So y... Uh, 22 minus 16, that should give you 6. Okay, now let's go ahead and simplify it. What comes out of the radical? If you realize, so 72 is not going to come out completely. 72 is uh, 36 times 2. So here, 36 times 2, that's 72. And if you leave the variables, so 36 is going to come out as 6. Square root of 36 is 6. And now we're going to be doing um, the variables. If you notice, the power for both uh, x and y is even. And since we're having a square root, the index is 2 here, invisible 2. So um, both powers of x and y are divisible by 2, so they're going to come out completely. So x is going to become 4 divided by 2 is 2. And y, y is 6 divided by 2 is 3. You could have also done x squared squared is x to the 4. And y cubed squared gives you y to the 6. You could have done that as well. So these come out completely, but the, I have one thing that doesn't come out, and that's the 2. So we have to include the cube root, uh, sorry, the square root of 2. So the answer for this problem is 6x squared y cubed square root of 2.